so the supply chain has impacted us based on uh, product supply in regards to cylinders. Um, so what we've done is we've tried to partner with competitors, other vendors, companies outside of California to get us the resources necessary in order to continue doing business within the state of California. Um, so the biggest thing has been um, cylinders. 20 pound barbecue cylinders have been hard to come by. Forklift bottles have been hard to come by. Um, those are the two largest things. We've seen a little bit of um, disruption with uh, certain um, uh, gas supply line, like line and, and valves, um, but that's not been too bad. It's the, the, biggest, the biggest parts have been um, in those two areas. And so we're reutilizing equipment we've already got. Um, we're, we're buying used equipment and then refurbishing it. Um, we've done that to offset some of that cylinder problem. Uh, and then as far as parts and fittings and things that were slow that way, it's just been about trying to order before you need it because uh, the just-in-time stuff is broke right now. So It's been really challenging uh, with tanks um, and with product itself, uh, the pricing going up and staying up as much as it has. Like I said, I've, I've been doing this for 40 years in management in the propane business. I think a lot of things change in the last 40 years, so, um, and the pricing is, is a big part of it. But it's something that all of our competition has to deal with. It's an industry that, um, you know, as long as we continue getting the product and we can get the product and, and pass it on and give our customers a different price and take care of their needs, the bottom line is, uh, you know, we, we, we get the supply in, we get it out to our customers and get them taken care of.